This is just a quick simulation of how equilibrium works. So what you're going to have here to start with is I'm going to make k larger than uh, smaller than one. Uh, then I'll do k uh, larger than one. So k smaller than one, you can see that um, products of reactants so are b over a. Um, so most of the uh, contents will, because it's less than one, most of it will stay as the reactants uh, and less in the products. And you can see that no matter if I start at zero or wherever I start from, uh, very quickly it will reach this ratio. It's about um, twice as much A as in B. So it's about 60%, uh, two thirds A and one third B. Um, and it doesn't matter how much I do it. Uh, you can see there the beaker that um, I've come to the point where the amount in both beakers is the same no matter what I do and I can keep doing this forever. Uh, and so the amount of liquid in the small beaker and the large beaker is both the same. Uh, and so the reaction is occurring uh, constantly. It looks like nothing's happening, but the forward and reverse reactions are happening at the same time. That's why it's dynamic. Now, if I swap it over, now K is greater than one, uh, you'll see that it will quickly uh, swap around and so that there'll be about one third A and two thirds B and it'll stay there no matter how many times I do this. Uh, and so the K is greater than one, which means the products most of it goes to the product side then, because the products are larger than the, the reactants. So you'll see B gets about two thirds and A gets about one third. And I just keep doing it forever. And the amount uh, from A to B and B to A is the same in both sides of the beaker. Okay, so uh, that's how equilibrium works. Um, it reaches um, some sort of happy medium. You can see that the liquids in both sides are about the same. So forward, it reaches a situation where the concentrations of A and B are the same and the reactions, forward and reverse reactions, are happening at the same time.